It's pretty much the same plane as the uh, perpendicular plate, but it's right there. Okay, palatine bones. Top of the mouth, palatine bones. Okay, in this case, they're kind of orange. All right, maxilla. Right here, this big purple thing. That's the maxilla. Okay, um, all right. Infraorbital foramen, a hole underneath the eye in the maxilla. Right there. There's one over here too, but they're right there. Um, alveolar processes. Alveolar processes on the maxilla are the ones, are the process that the teeth attach to. It's right there, it's where the teeth attach to. Um, palatine process, this part here, attaches the palatine bone. Um, incisive foramen. This one does not show it particularly well, but we'll use it anyways. It's this little hole right here behind the incisors. It's that hole right there. Uh, that's the end of the maxilla. Mandible. Got a mandible out. Okay, we'll start with the simple ones. Mandibular condyle. It's this part right here. Then we have coronoid process. Then we have the mental protuberance, the jaw, the chin. Then we have the alveolar processes. Once again, this is the process the teeth, the teeth attach to. Same process on whether or not it's the mandible or maxilla. And then the mental foramen holes here in the chin. And lastly, the mandible foramen. Okay? And that's the end of the mandible. Now to finish off the skull, we're going to mention the hyoid bone. The hyoid bone, weirdest little bone around. We'll grab this skeleton and show you. I'll bring this over here. Hyoid bone, right there. That's the hyoid bone, does not articulate with other bones. It's used for attachment of tongue, muscles for the tongue. So, let's see, we'll get started with some um, the vertebrae. We'll start with the easy ones. Cervical vertebrae, first seven. One minute, let's go. First seven vertebrae, cervical vertebrae. Uh, next 12, thoracic vertebrae. They have ribs attached to them. Pretty easy to identify those. They have ribs. Lumbar vertebrae, sacrum, and then the coccyx. Okay, spinning this thing around, we'll talk about the sternum. We've got a sternum. The sternum's got three parts. Manubrium, body, xiphoid process. The ribs. Ribs are kind of a obvious. Parts of the ribs that you need to know. Sternal end, the part that attaches to the sternum. Vertebral end, part that attaches to the vertebrae. Okay, costal groove. If you zoom in, you can see that each rib has a little groove in the side. That's the costal groove. And then we have costal cartilage. And lastly, we have floating ribs. These two ribs, these two ribs. They don't attach to the sternum. And then we have typical vertebrae. Okay, parts of a vertebrae, we will grab this to do parts of the vertebrae with, because this one works out really well. Parts of the vertebrae. First and foremost, um, the body. In this case, it's this large, me uh, large bone chunk that has a bolt through it. But that's the body. 
spinous process. This part that's sticking up is the spine. Um, transverse process, the ones that go off to the side. Uh, super, superior articulating process and facet. On the top of each vertebrae, right here, where it articulates with the next vertebrae, is the superior. The super, yeah, easy for me to say. Superior articulating facets and process. And then the inferior are on the bottom. This is where it, in, where it articulates with the vertebrae below it. Um, vertebral foramen, right there where the spinal cord is running through. And then, I will show on this one. Is that bigger? Yeah, I'll show it here. Um, the intervertebral foramen is this space separated here in between the vertebrae. And there's a, there's a bar going through it, otherwise I'd pass my pen all the way through. I'd probably pass my pen all the way through here. It goes right through, right through here. There. So those are the parts that, uh, oh wait, the other two vertebrae, the atlas, this is the part that's holding your, spine, your skull up. And the parts you need to know are superior articulating facet, this articulates with the cranium, inferior right there. This is the axis, the dens, and the transverse foramen. What a transverse foramen is, it's the cervical vertebrae have a hole in it in the transverse process. There, there, there. So each of these have those. That's the transverse form. All right. And that is the axial skeleton.